sits in a classroom of a charity school in India. But this is no ordinary child. Lakshmi Tatmar was the girl with eight limbs. To some, she was a medical miracle. To others, she was the living incarnation of a goddess. And when doctors carried out groundbreaking surgery to remove her extra limbs, the eyes of the world were Lakshmi by some as a goddess. Now, a year on, Lakshmi faces more surgery. All we want is for her next treatment to take place. The first one went well, and now hopefully this one will. And it will make her like a normal child. But Lakshmi's parents believe that people in their home village have cast a sinister curse on her. The curse is so bad that if it wants to harm her, it will. They decide they must go back to face the villagers. There, they'll find out what happens when a girl once revered as a living goddess returns home an ordinary child. Dr. Kachu has taken some x-rays of Lakshmi's spine and he has some bad news. Uh, back has lateral curvature that is called scoliosis. The spine is bent on one side and giving sideways curvature. It's only been four months since Lakshmi's trip to Bangalore, but in this time she's developed the scoliosis that the neurosurgeon there had feared might occur. Dr. Kachu will send the new x-rays to the Bangalore doctors to review but in the meantime, he recommends immediate treatment. We will give her a brace so that this curvature doesn't aggravate. This will be uncomfortable, but she has to use it. If she doesn't use brace, the curvature will grow faster. Lakshmi will need more operations in the years to come and is likely to face further unforeseen medical challenges. She will need the continued support of the charity school and her doctors to help her get through. But with their help, she can now at last look forward to a normal life. For her parents, Lakshmi's remarkable good fortune proves only one thing. It is because she is a goddess that we have moved here. Otherwise, who would care? God made her with eight limbs so that good would come to us. 